certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. Good. You'll find that I'm a stickler for details, and I'd hate to discover that your file is incomplete. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle the big picture stuff, we deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. No, no you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. If the military rolls in and attacks the Crimson Fleet, we'd have a full-scale war on our hands. That means losses, heavy losses, that the United Colonies can't afford. <laughs> Not for me. For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sistev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Well, first of all, we'll forget about the infraction that landed you on the vigilance. Wipe the slate clean. Better still, depending on how well you do your job, we'll even kick in a few extra credits to offset any cost that the operation will incur. Or, you can throw that away and end up back in jail with a hefty fine attached. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Coming in all alone, infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Excuse Still, me. it makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around. Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship, and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Could you imagine a worse way to go? But I wouldn't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? Okay. Ikandi's on level two. Try not to touch anything until he actually clears you. All right. This is as far as I go. Take the lift up the Yes, what? Hello. Ah, there you are. Excellent. 
Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. SysDef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Good. I have just the right... Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bowden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be... ...using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Let's just say my superiors need proof that engaging the Crimson Fleet is a larger priority than they're willing to admit. If we shove enough concrete evidence under their noses, they'll have no choice but to allocate the resources that I've requested. At the same time, we can use the evidence to arrest members of the Crimson Fleet, weakening them enough to strike a fatal blow. Eager to get going? Good. Remember, this in I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfect. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance. To put it simply, you can't go into every situation with guns blazing. Think before you act. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the Crimson Fleet. That's the greater good. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here. Good luck. All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all was thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. For your own safety, Nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some... morally grey decisions. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do. But remember why you're out there in the first place. That's why I expect you to constantly seek alternative means to overcome your obstacles, rather than blowing holes in them. Look, I can see that you're struggling with this. So let me simplify this for you. If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging you to follow that path. Use your instincts. 
I'm certain you'll do the right thing. That's easy to answer. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. Dismissed. <clears throat> All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. What? No. It's personal. It has nothing to do with you. Just stick to the mission and you'll be fine. Then you'll understand why it's so important that this operation is successful. Anyway, before I let you go, there's just one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return. As compensation for your efforts. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Not really, no. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. <sighs> yeah. Maybe... No. No, it... <laughs> it's not really an appropriate time to be going over my private life. There are much more important things to be done. Let's just stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. But, uh... Maybe we can talk about it some other time, okay? We'll be keeping them close at hand until this operation is complete. So, we'll be holding them in the Vigilance's brig. If you're feeling particularly ruthless, you could always head down there and say hello. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to see you. Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC Security, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Even if you're scanned. Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation, well, I don't think I need to tell you the consequences of making that mistake. Let me know if you need anything else. Yes? Hey.
bunch of heat leeches, uh... If you're here to buy or sell, you... And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean some... I can probably help you with that. Whoa, way too hot for me. The Trade Authority turning away con... No, they're right. What they didn't tell you is that I have a self-preservation streak a kilometer wide. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unlock... Well, well. It appears she suddenly remembers everything. Hmm, how nice. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Sphere. Oh, and, uh, it's been a ple... Can I help? There's something I need to talk to you about. Look... I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you. The fact that you risked your life to save me, I... I don't know what to say. Well, yes, of course. But that's beside the point. My only wish is that my rescue hadn't come at the expense of Sam's life. He was one of my closest colleagues. And a cherished friend. Oh, poor Cora. I'm sure the poor thing is devastated. She's lost a wonderful father. <laughs> I really wish I could believe that. Our charter at Constellation has always been to analyze the unknown, but rarely at the expense of our members' lives. Yet all the while, I've been cavalier about taking risks and pushing the boundaries, not appreciating the true cost of my actions. <sighs> Had I not pushed so hard to pursue the Starborn, perhaps none of this would have happened at all and Sam would still be alive. Of course I can. Damn it! Why is this happening to us? We're explorers. Our curiosity pushes us to seek answers to life's mysteries. It's one of the core traits of humankind. Yet in return, this is what the universe throws at us. Beings from God knows where who are trying to murder us. Why? What have we done wrong? No. I refuse to allow Sam's death to be attributed to bad luck. It isn't fair. But the question is, where do we go from here? Do we stop exploring? Stop pushing the boundaries? Take a more aggressive posture towards the universe? I don't know where to begin. Agreed. I just hope it's enough caution that we don't leave ourselves open to another attack. Well, I suppose that's all I had on my mind for now. Oh, it was a relief to get all of that out in the open. I'm sorry I got so angry. But I assure you, it's nothing personal. You're the only one I feel comfortable talking with about these things.
<laughs> Who knew you had so many incredible uses? Well, we have a long road ahead of us. I suppose it's high time we get back to work. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I do... Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Right down to business! Well, this is utterly ridiculous. Do we really have to jump through these hoops to get what we need from you? <sighs> Lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. You never know where you'll be sent out. Something I can help you with? Adler Kemp. Adler, you said? Uh, nope. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just... Uh, hey, hey, now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adler, was it? Hmm? Oh, wait. You mean that Adler? Yeah, sorry. I, I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. <laughs> I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Uh, well, I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Perhaps he's already been through enough. Oh, what games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. I guess I'm only putting off the inevitable. Well, no, I guess not. But maybe I was hoping he'd show a little mercy. Hmm? Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for. Yeah, what is it? Live where you work. Something for me. There, would you look at that? He going to be a problem anymore? 
Nice. Nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. Hello, I am Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? Yes, what is it? Indeed I do. All yours. You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just ask. Rake. 
I want him dead. Kill Rake? That's your only option? If you want my advice, there's only one way to get... It's done when Rake's head back here when you're finished. And don't keep me waiting for long. So that's the notorious Nova Mora. I have to say, if she's the finest that the Crimson Fleet has to offer, joining them might be a terrible mistake. Rake used to run with the fleet. Hell, I'm the one who vouched for him in the first place. Back then he had a different name and a different identity. He was a damn good earner, too. Brought in a ton of creds. Everything was fine until he wanted out. So he ran. And nobody, I mean, nobody, runs away from the fleet. I've been tracking Rick for months. He's making it tough, not gonna lie. He changes his location and identity so often, it's costing me a small fortune just to keep tabs. But you know what? It's worth every damn cred. He's made me look like a fool in front of Delgado, and I'm gonna have his head on a pike. Never mind. Sorry. I repeat, Thinking of something this is else. Dimitri Moldovsky uh, yes, of the Ragana. We are unarmed and just on the road to New Homestead. Please confirm your. I was afraid of that. Look, we are not built for combat. threatening to board you. We're asking. The distinction is rather important. Well, normally I would say no, but frankly it will be safer for us that way. All right, you can dock. We will talk then. sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. That is true. Which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? 
and you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from Manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. That is fair. We do not want any part of the fleet. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? It does not appear you do. Well then, it is agreed. You go back to your ship and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. Lay it on me. You've got my attention, Captain. 
Of course. Sorry, I was lost in the memory. What How did you mean? Help? I keep. What can I help you with?
a shame the United Colonies built such an impressive ship for battle, instead of using it for exploration. I had a friend on Ragana. I hope I'll be able to see him next time we're on shore leave. I saw one of the Ensigns get an Alpha Centauri from Officer Petrosian the other day. The man takes his job very seriously. Okay, hello. We're back. Anything to report? We got the message from the Ragana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port, off the books. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. That's a smart line to follow. Part of this role you're playing means having to make hard choices. Just remember not to lose yourself in the part. I'll do my part to make certain that doesn't happen, Commander. Oh, one more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem. They are mercenaries for hire. If they are paid enough money, Cliptic would attack the Vigilance. It wasn't terribly difficult to convince them to attack an isolated Crimson Fleet ship. Just expensive. But a gamble that hopefully paid off. On that note, how did things go with Neva? Were you able to join the fleet? Then it worked. You're in. Sounds like everything is going as expected. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. The woman has a record that could stretch across Sol and back. She started young as one of Neon's street rats, and worked her way up to second in command. She's a force to be reckoned with, so don't underestimate her. Yes, you pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing, or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Where you'll meet Delgado, no doubt. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. Agreed. The last thing we need is to infiltrate the fleet, only to be kicked out because we've underestimated one of their people. I don't disagree, but it's important to know your enemy and the best way to defeat them. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. First mission in the books and no casualties. My assistance.
Seek separation. Can
met with a lawyer and was prepared to party. Hard. The video will was... emotional. Mom and I stopped talking years ago. Mom... didn't look good. But it was Mom. As weird, crazy, and cryptic as ever. I'm almost surprised she remembered she even had a son. It was... hard to hear. Almost touching. But then the punchline. No inheritance until I go to Mom's secret... base? On Denabolo 1B? And she ends not with an I love you or an I'm proud of you. No. Six Semper Tyrannus. Oh my god. Always with that stupid Latin saying. Over and over she'd say that damn thing. Thanks, Mom. Thanks oh so much. Not picked that easily since I traveled with Vladimir Saul.
keep pirates from going off the deep end. I... I guess it's possible. She never talked about where she got her phone shit at. And then, she could handle herself anywhere. Uh-oh, lots of dead again. Don't shoot! I am unarmed! Look, we can help each other. I can be useful. Just don't kill me. Livy, and I mean you, uh, no harm. This place was full of traps. Traps everywhere. I removed them. But this, this corridor is just too dangerous. See? Looks normal. One step inside, slam! You are trapped. And nobody's been standing after the doors reopened. No one knew how to get through the corridor. But I figured it out. There are letters on the floor. It is a grid. Those letters must spell something. But there are so many words or small phrases. Five? Six? It's hard to find... Uh, volunteers. I really thought we had it with M. Mantis. Ah, oh, poor Fred. Does everyone always say see I've been helpful you you could let me go or better I can help I know please let me help and just give me a I like to think of myself as a merciful person and I love giving people the benefit of the doubt but I don't know about this one I have sacrificed something I need to discuss with you. Ever since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. Was it that obvious? Oh, I thought I could handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. What's there to tell? I survived. My crew didn't. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. I wouldn't call what I did a soft landing. But thank you, all the same. Hold on. I don't know. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. 
Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. I really needed a laugh. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. Ah, if I begin to fall apart, I'm going to need someone who can keep my spirits up. I know you will. You've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me, I'll never understand. I... I don't know what to say. Ah, oh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True love. Something I've seriously considered sharing with you for a long time. Just... not ready. Not yet. You're right. I have. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long.
Mom didn't look good. But it was Mom. As weird, crazy, and cryptic as ever. I'm surprised you remember what you had. It was hard to hear. Almost touching. But then the punch line. No inheritance until I go to Mom's secret. Untenable one week. I love you, or I'm proud of you. No. Except for Tyrannus. Always that stupid last thing. Over and over she'd say that damn thing. Thanks, Mom. Thanks so much. Well, hey. Just get it out of here. I'm on. Die.
Don't shoot! Look, we can help each other. I... Livy, you know, this place was full of... With this, one step inside? It's true. But I figured it. It is a grid. But there are... Five... Oh. What? Well, see? I... Or better, I can... Please, let me... I like it. Trust is maybe too strong a word. Then, when the arrangement is... Spoken like... I will hold back here. something for me? All right, but... Don't be... Take your time. Might as well take what we can. Sounds good. Lead on. Traps, robots, probably turrets. Very dangerous. Ever since we talked about the battle... Was it that obvious? Oh, I thought I... I would like that. One problem, I think... Was there to tell. Still, it turned out... I wouldn't call what I did a soft land. Hold on. 
I don't know the exact... For that, we are... Your instincts are right. Logan and I... Look. <laughs> Truth is... I'm... Ah. I know you will. You've always been there. I... Ah... Oh, something I... You're right. Hey, um, hopefully... useful.
are doing well, Leon. Almost there. I know. Things have been difficult. The mantle of the Mantis is a heavy burden. But you can do so much good. The well, spacers and I pirates need, need someone to fear. Someone to check them. To make them realize some lines cannot be crossed.
Hell of a city, isn't it? There's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. Sarah Morgan. It's been, what, almost ten years? Admiral, it's, uh, good to see you again, sir. You're not required to address me as sir. That protocol ended the moment you dropped your clusters on my desk, remember? Look, Admiral, I'm not here to open old wounds. Old wounds is an interesting turn of phrase, given our past. Listen to me, Commander. I'm not sure why you're here, but whatever it is, why don't you just get to it? I'm here because I need your help, Admiral. You need my help? That's interesting. The last time we spoke, you made it quite clear that you were turning your back on the Navy. That was a decade ago. Things change. People change. Admiral, please. I didn't come here to argue. I'm here to come to terms with my past. Your past is sitting in a closed file in the archives. That's where you left it when you walked out on the United Colonies. And what about you? Just who in the blazes are you anyway? Very well. Then, as a good friend, perhaps you could kindly... With all due respect, Admiral, this is ridiculous. If you have a problem with me, then there's no need to berate my colleague. I don't have a problem with you, Commander. I'm simply trying to determine why you deserve the Navy's help. That's quite a noble gesture. Is this true, Commander? It's about Cassiopeia, Admiral. I'm heading back there to find out what happened to the crew of the Dauntless, and hopefully, to bring their legacy home. That sounds like a dangerous operation. Are you certain it's worth the risk? I... I don't know. I see. The fact that you'd risk your own lives to solve this mystery speaks volumes. They were my responsibility, Admiral. One way or another, I intend to bring them home. I understand. And I believe I owe you an apology, Commander. Our last encounter has obviously distorted my impression of your character. What can I do to help? 
If you wouldn't mind allowing me to access the files regarding my rescue, I'd be most grateful, Admiral. That shouldn't be too difficult. I've sent all the relevant information to your slates. Was there anything else? No, Admiral. Thank you. You don't need to thank me, Commander. I just hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. We should make sure we're well supplied for the trip to Cassiopeia. Inspect your ship for he got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Here. Sure. How about it?
Looks to me like you. I'm sure you can find. Okay.
attention. What's on your mind?